Before we get into this video guys, I would just want to announce if you join Hydrix and you are a new player, you can type noobsearn19 and you will be able to get yourself a starter pack which gives you the referral starter package which gives you a random item which can also get a donator box which can also give you a random item. So definitely make sure to use noobsearn19 as a referral code once you create your account to get that starter package. Now, if you already have an account, no worries. You can still get your referral package by typing colon colon refer, and then you type noobs019, and you'll get yourselves uh, the uh, referral package as well if you don't have done that already. You can also only do it once per account, uh, once per computer, so you cannot make spam accounts to get this. So definitely make sure you try it on one account only. Besides that, I will be giving away 40,000 donated tokens, so if you want a chance to enter, definitely make sure you are subscribed, comment your in-game name down below, make sure you like the video and also turn on notifications so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Anyways, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I am back on Hydrix and as you guys know, Hydrix is one of my favorite high revision RSPS out there just because it is so well developed and you have so many old school RS features in here as well which I am going to showcase right now. I'm going to start off with the teleports, going over to the Slayer areas. As you can see, if you scroll down, the Catacombs of Current are in-game. So um, that is the old-school cave for Slayer, as you can see here. If you run around, it has really high graphics, which is very nice. And you still have all the Slayer NPCs right here in order uh, to kill your Slayer toss as well. So that is super awesome. But besides that, if we go back to the bossing teleports this time, and we do stand that you actually have a lot of old school RS bosses as well. Besides that, you just have a bunch of bosses overall, as you can see. But they have the um, alch alchemical um, Hydra. They have a bunch of other uh, old school RS bosses. Like if you scroll down, they should have Zulra right here. They should also have like Kraken and a bunch of other old school RS bosses right here. Like Kraken, Abyssal Sire, Cerberus. But anyways, let's go and start off by showcasing um, by showcasing the alchemical uh, hydra right here. So as you can see, the alchemical hydra is on the uh, same spot as you would find it on the uh, actual old school runescape. However, I cannot enter it because I do not have 95 slayer. But as you can see right there, the alchemical hydra looks really sick. Um, it drops the hydra's claw, dragon throwing eggs, dragon knives and all the other Hydra items. So yeah, they also drop the Ferocious Gloves, which is super nice. So yeah, this boss looks really sick as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go over all the other um, old school RS bosses that they actually have here. Right here, Vorkov, I didn't see this one earlier. Um, oh, you actually need money to go to Vorkov, so let me fix that real quick. All right, so now that I have 100k in my money pouch, let's go to Vorkov. And as you can see, Vorkov right here looks really sick as well. It also has the fully working script. Um, however, I do recommend range for this because that's a lot easier. Um, but if you examine it, um, you can see that it has all the drops as well. Um, especially right here, if we scroll down, you have the Draconic Visage, the Skeletal Visage. You also have an Amulet of Eternal Glory and a Dragon Bone Necklace, which is super nice. You can also get the Vorkov Head and the Jar of Decay, which can then be used in your house. So yeah, Vorkov is another fully working old, uh, old school boss right here. Let's go ahead and showcase some more of these old school bosses because in my opinion, it's really nice to see 7118s or uh, high revision servers that actually um, get all the um, get all the old school RS bosses as well. But right here, for example, Zolra, if we teleport to Zolra right here, you will see that it is spawning. I did make a loot video on Zolra here um a while ago so if you guys want to see that i'll leave a link down below in the description let me just teleport home before i actually die moving on i'm just going to show off these three last bosses they still have a lot more old school rs bosses uh, as you can see callisto venatas uh, chaos fanatic crazy archaeologist archaeologist scorpia vation uh, which are of course old school rs wilderness bosses but let's go ahead and start off with kraken I'm just going to showcase case the cave real quick because the cave looks so nice and all these HD graphics, as you can see, the drops as well. Okay, I'm going to have to teleport out again because I will die in a second, which is not good. But yeah, it looks really nice as well there. Uh, and oh, I, I actually just did I Wow, I'm a noob. 
then let's go ahead and teleport to the abyssal side as well if we check the abyssal side right here i'm not going to attack it but you can get the bludgeon pieces jar of miasma you kind of get an abyssal whip and an abyssal dagger so yeah that's also really nice and then i'll just showcase Cerberus as lost old school RS boss real quick and then I'll go over some other of this awesome content that they have but yeah let's have a look at Cerberus real quick same with Cerberus is that you actually have the full old school RS map which looks so nice in all these HD graphics as you can see it looks so smooth and everything um, but yeah right here the Cerberus you can see it drops the crystals and then the jar and the smoldering stone so yeah it's super nice you can also get a um clue scroll and stuff from here so yeah that's super nice to see also the um effects that you can see here are so nice so yeah very sick to have all this old school content on the server now besides all that old school rs bossing stuff they also have a bunch of rs3 bossing stuff which is super nice uh, they also have some custom stuff like as you can see on the corporal beast drop table you have an invocation spirit shield you have an um, adept spirit shield you have a sub uh, succubus spirit shield uh, then you have the king black dragon queen black dragon you have Orc, you have giant mole you have next you have a bunch of sick bosses right here you also have the rise of the six Bandos, so all the God Wars bosses, Willy Worms, which drop a bunch of cool stuff as well. Um, Demi God Trio, which is actually a custom boss, which is also sick. So they have a bit of everything. They have RS3, they have old school, they have custom stuff. So yeah, this uh, server is so content packed, it's actually amazing. Besides that, you also have a bunch of other things, like you have the mini games. As you can see, you have custom mini games like the Calamity, Warrior Skilled, Clan Wars, Dominion Tower. You have Fight Caves, Fight Kiln, Heist, uh, Castle Wars, um, Falconry, Lava Flow, Player Wars, Dual Arena, Temple of Light, Trial of the Gods, and Slayer Survival. Now I'll go a bit more in depth about Slayer Survival because this is actually a more AFK method of doing Slayer, but it is lower XP rates per hour. It's just a really nice minigame overall, which I'll just showcase in a second. As you can see, you can also get some points, which you can then spend in the shop right here. To buy a Saren Stone, you can also get a Curadel Jr., which is a pet that follows you. You can get a Corrupted Chart, and you can get Crystal Keys or PVM Keys, which then can be used on the chest right here at the home area. As you can see from the PVM um, key chest, you can get a bunch of sick rewards like Torva, Pernix, Virtus and stuff. And then from the crystal keys, you can also get a few really nice rewards like clue scroll items. So yeah, that's really nice as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and teleport in real quick. And uh, let's have a look if we can actually manage to do some of the um, Slayer survival. So what this basically is, you get teleported to this multi-area instance where a bunch of Slayer NPCs will spawn and you can just basically leave your auto retaliate on because they will all be aggressive and fairly simple to kill. As you can see, once you kill them, you will actually get a bit of Slayer XP. You don't have to be on a Slayer task to do this. But yeah, once that is done, you will you will just get into new waves and you will get more and more Slayer points um, each and every round and uh, Slayer XP. So yeah, the Slayer monster itself will also go up in difficulty. So right now they are pretty easy, like it's hill giants and stuff. Um, but yeah, once they get a bit higher, it will become a bit more difficult as well. But you'll get more and more Slayer XP, so you'll level up faster as well. Um, but yeah, this mini game is really sick in my opinion. You can just stand here AFK instead of go to do your task somewhere else. Um, it is still slower XP rates, as I just mentioned before but it is a very nice alternative way of training Slayer. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they have a huge variety of RS3, old school RS and custom items. So I'm just going to showcase a few that I have right here. For example, they have the full raids armor and raids weaponry from old school RS. They also have the full raids 2 armor and weaponry. Um, there st are still a few items that are missing, of course, that I don't have in my inventory. But then they also have like blood dyed trigors from RS3, which look very beautiful, as you can see with the textures and stuff. Let me just go out of this. So yeah, that looks so beautiful in my opinion. Um, besides that, they also have like stuff like these Zeros Godsword from RS3 and then stuff like this, which is uh, custom boots, of course, for each and uh, different combat style. Mage is blue, range is green, and then red is for melee. So yeah, all these items are so amazing. You also have like custom clue rewards from old school arrest, like the heavy casket, which looks very dope, as you can see. 
so yeah they have so many really cool items and stuff on here and it's so well done everything that it's just one of the best rsps out there right now in my opinion they don't have a lot of players but i definitely believe that they deserve a really big player base because they have so much content and you will never get bored on the surf Okay, so there's just one thing that I want to mention real quick. I forgot this in the beginning of my video, but you actually need six hours of playtime before you can actually win the giveaway. I will be um, announcing the winner to the owner in a PM first, and then he will confirm if you have over six hours of playtime. If you don't, then you will not be able to win the giveaway. So definitely make sure you are actually a player and you don't, don't just enter the giveaway because you want to, uh, because it will not benefit you if you aren't an actual player. Anyways, this will be the end of the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure you have entered the giveaway and turn on these notifications. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.